So hello, my name is Vincent Palmerio, and I'm going to be demoing the, this project called Quick Path, which ports Path Planner to Android. So the okay, first thing we're going to do, we're going to open up a robot project, and we're going to create a new project, and we're going to call it uh, Quick Path 3, because this is our third attempt trying to do this. Okay, so now that we got Quick Path 3, we're going to touch it, and then we're get, we got the generator settings here. So I want this to slow down, I don't want this to go too fast. So I'm gonna switch it to max velocity of one and max acceleration of one. And I gotta press enter, um, but okay. So we got our max velocity and max acceleration. So now I can actually start modifying the path um, and I'm gonna drag this out of the way. So my green point is my starting point and my red point is my ending point. So I have the robot oriented facing this way. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the path. Whoops, I'm gonna change the path so that the robot is start off facing where it actually is. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little, um, just like a little turn. So what the robot's gonna do here uh, to where I've just dragged it to is it's gonna drive forward and then it's gonna back up, it's gonna back up into this red point right here. Okay, so I think I'm ready. Um, I'm gonna double check that I have the correct settings turned on. Um, Actually, thank God I did that because I forgot to rename this again. That would have been bad. Okay, so we're gonna. I have it set to the robot to, robot to follow the path named Quick Path. So I've named it Quick Path here, and then yeah, I've got generate WPI lib JSON on. I'm gonna turn that off and turn that on again just to be safe. Um, okay, so now I think I'm ready to deploy. So I'm gonna press the deploy button, and all the files will go directly from the app onto the robot, which is really great. Okay, it looks like it says successfully loaded all paths. That's good to see. So now we're gonna switch to the uh, drivetrain and we're gonna, or, yeah, yeah, we're gonna enable autonomous. Okay, three, two, one. Absolutely perfect. Okay. So now that we've done that, I want to show you that I can change this path again um, to, uh, you know, to what I can, I can change it again, basically, right? So I can change my project and then re-upload it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into this uh, horizontal rotation here. And now that my starting point is over there, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this ending point out of the way and put my starting point right here. And I think I'm gonna have my ending point, let's see. Hmm, let me see, how about we do, we got a little gap over there. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a nice little curve into that gap, and then we're gonna come back out, or we're probably gonna either back up into this red dot right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and deploy. All right, perfect. Okay, so keep the camera on the robot. I'm gonna do... Absolutely perfect. That was just perfect. Thank you guys. I'm gonna show my face here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Very happy that I did this project. And yeah, see you later.